Shout out to Wavelink for sponsoring this video. This looks like a normal ethernet port, but it has a shockingly affordable trick up its sleeve. This adapter is capable of five gigabit ethernet. Before I continue, this video was actually supposed to come out in November as I had another copy of this adapter. I thought at first it was defective, but it turns out that Wavelink identified some issues with the chipset and have released this optimized version. So originally, I couldn't get a stable connection to all of my devices, but as you saw at the beginning, that's five gigabit on a flipping phone and it's priced extremely well. How well am I talking? This is the lowest cost 10 gigabit to Thunderbolt 3 adapter I could find from Sabrent, a familiar brand. Sure, it's double the speed, but it's four times the price. Not to mention that if your computer doesn't have Thunderbolt, the Sabrent won't even work. On one end, you have your USB-C 3.2 connector, a fairly rigid cable, and then the housing for the adapter itself, which is actually made of an aluminum alloy and it's got plastic to surround the ethernet port. The housing feels surprisingly premium and both sides are flanked with vent holes and while this adapter isn't actively cooled, it seems to perform well under heavy loads over a sustained period of time. You may notice the maximum speed I'm getting here is just over 4,700 megabit. Let's explain that quickly. So if you've ever done a speed test with a typical gigabit adapter and you max it out, you would notice that you would get about 940 megabit, which is like 60 megabit under gigabit. So that 60 megabit will account for any like network overhead. So for all intents and purposes, just assume that 940 megabit would mean gigabit as that's your theoretical maximum. It's a linear scale. So if gigabit does 940 megabit and you multiply 940 by five, you end up with 4,700, which is exactly within spec that this adapter needs to operate at. To get the best speeds out of this adapter, you need to use a USB 3.2 port. Look, can we just simplify the stupid USB standard instead of calling it USB 3.2, Gen 2 by 2 by f you? I guess counting is hard for consortiums. Who knows? One interesting feature that this ships with is auto MDIX, which to be completely honest, I wish more adapters supported. Traditionally, if you had two computers side by side and you wanted to network them to share files between them, you'd either need like a router, a network switch, or a crossover cable. And a crossover cable is basically where the ethernet cable is wired differently internally than a standard ethernet cable, and it allows the computers to communicate. Auto MDIX will just auto sense the way the cable is wired and configure the ethernet to work regardless of the cable. So if you're using like a standard ethernet cable and you plug it in and then you go into another computer, Using this adapter, they'll connect, which is pretty sweet. If you remember back in like the late 90s, the early days of high-speed internet, routers weren't exactly um, you know, accessible to everybody. So you would set up a different computer and you would share your internet. You'd get your cable coming into your house and then you would share the internet through that computer and then you'd need crossover cables. And if you remember that, this would have been super handy back in the day. And if you don't remember that, then whatever, I'm old. Obviously transferring stuff within my home network will saturate the five gigabit as we're getting the full speed from my internet provider. Okay, the real talk, this video just became a flex about my internet service. Sorry, Wavelink. <laughs> After two weeks of heavy usage and the fact that again, this thing works with my phone. I can confidently recommend this adapter to anybody with a home network that supports over gigabit, but doesn't wanna pay the price for 10 gig with a 10 gig ethernet adapter, obviously. Within the home, I'm averaging around 560 megabytes a second, which is better than your typical 117 megabytes a second you get with a typical gigabit adapter. So again, shout out to Wavelink for sending this adapter over and sponsoring this video. Affiliate links to purchase through Amazon are in the description and using them helps the channel out. By the way, here's a video that YouTube's recommending. Uh, sure. <laughs> My name is Sean, this has been Tech Mixer and I'm out, peace.